765 is here in the booth at Lattice Semiconductors Developer Conference. It's 2024. We are in Silicon Valley and we have heard product announcements. We've heard partners talk. And one of the things that I said uh, in my last interview is that Lattice made FPGAs cool and understandable for people. And one of the things that I appreciate, and you know, I'm a recovering product person and product marketing person, are competitive head-to-head -head shootouts. And for the second year in a row, we have Deepak here back on the show to take us through some demonstrations. And as we all know in Silicon, for people who love Silicon, power efficiency is very important, especially when it comes to FPGAs. Essentially, at a certain application level or certain performance level, what is the power draw? So I'm gonna turn it over to Deepak. Great, thanks Pat, and welcome back to the Lattice Developer Conference. And you're right, so power is the new currency, right? And uh, you know, we just announced today Nexus 2, which is our latest uh, platform, uh, small FPGA platform, thank you. And so yeah, we have some exciting demos here based on uh, Certus N2, which is our first uh, Nexus 2 uh, FPGA. So this one's all about uh, power efficiency leadership. And uh, basically what we're showing is a comparison, relative power comparison of uh, Certus N2 FPGA from Lattice. We have the Artix Ultrascale Plus FPGA from AMD and the Cyclone 10GX FPGA from uh, Altera. Wait, can, I, can we pause just really quickly now? This is this little chip. This is the, the second generation yes. compared to these what somewhat look larger looking chips. Are, are we looking at the right pieces of silicon here? That's exactly right. Okay. right? So this is the small one. Good luck finding that. But yes, that's the, <laughs> that's the lattice Certus N2. And uh, yep, compared with the other two FPGAs, right? So yeah, I think uh, uh, as always, right? Uh, many applications in this class of FPGAs, they have the Fmax or the frequency of operation between like 100 to 300 megahertz for a different variety of applications, control plane, data plane, right? So what you see here is at 300 megahertz Fmax, you can see that Certus N2 FPGA has up to two times lower power consumption, right? And we, as we then modulate and lower the Fmax, let's say to 150 megahertz, okay. you can see that Certus N2 FPGA now has up to three times lower power and it keeps getting better at lower uh, frequencies, right? At 100 megahertz is up to four times. So on average, on average, Certus N2 FPGA has up to three times lower power consumption than other FPGAs. And that's really important uh, to simplify thermal management and lower operating costs. And just to make it, just for the audience, just to make it even more real, what types of applications uh, could be running here? Yeah, that's a great question, right? So especially on the edge where these FPGAs, small FPGAs get used uh, uh, even more with so much computing moving to the edge, right? And edge computing, obviously power and thermal uh, efficiency really matters. So this is across a wide range of applications in industrial, uh, machine vision, autonomous robots, right? That are battery based and moving around, consumer, client, compute. So in general, power is something that our customers care about across a variety of applications. And it, this is a grounds up new design, correct? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. and it also looks like just, just based on the size that it's likely using a modern, more modern process as well. It does, right? And, and the good thing is it's not just about the process, but it's also the architecture uh, optimization okay. that we always focus on for low power and small size, right? So it's we always do a ground up kind of optimization. And that's one of the main reasons there is so much differentiation in power uh, relative to the other FPGAs, yeah. which are really waterfalling the high high density FPGA architecture. So we've really architected this for low power, both static power and dynamic power. This is great. So we'll put uh, the details of this uh, in the show notes and let's move over to the security demo. Sounds good. And we are back with our second demo here, this time uh, with security. And I think everybody can agree security is as important as ever. Uh, we can talk about the age of AI, uh, the age of big data, Security has always been important, but it's even more important now as the risks are higher and potential bad actors have nation state uh, budgets. Lattice has developed a really good name uh, in security, starting off with data center infrastructure, 
Uh, like I said in my last video, it's hard for me to open up one of these uh, servers without seeing uh, a lattice chip uh, on it. And secondly, uh, made a big name for themselves in telco infrastructure as well. Uh, but moving uh, to the edge, which, which just uh, makes sense in here. So Deepak, what are we looking at here? Yes, so on this demo, we'll be show, showcasing the boot up time, right? And how fast uh, the CERT Ascent to FPGA boots up relative to yeah. uh, other FPGAs, which as you mentioned is, is uh, really important in the context of security. Yeah. So we have the same board here as before with the FPGAs from Lattice, uh, AMD and uh, Altera. And uh, what we're going to do, and all of the FPGAs are self-configuring from a single external flash device that's operating at the maximum speed. So yeah, so let's go ahead and boot up uh, each of the FPGAs and look at the boot up time, right? Starting with the Cyclone 10 GX FPGA from Altera. So we see it takes roughly around 360 milliseconds right. to boot up. And then the Artex Ultra Scale Plus FPGA is around 260 milliseconds. And then as we do the same and boot up the Certus N2 FPGA, it's only 17 milliseconds, yes. right? That's it's like an order of magnitude faster than uh, the other FPGAs. And that's really, really important in, uh, in many safety and uh, security applications. Yeah, so these numbers are really low, okay? And I'm curious, why do these matter? They, they seem so low, but why does even being faster matter? A great question. Uh, every millisecond matters when it comes to security and uh, protection against uh, malicious uh, software and firmware attacks, right? And to give you an example, uh, Lattice FPGAs are, like you said uh, at the start, widely used in a lot of uh, data center servers. And we are, in fact, the first chip that uh, powers on or, and the last chip that powers off, right? And uh, that's... Uh, that's again goes back to this kind of boot up time uh, capability that we have. And then on top of that is all the security features, including root of trust and uh, you know PFR or platform firmware resiliency. All of those right. are uh, solutions that build on top of this capability. No, I appreciate this. And I remember a day when people were booting off uh, the host uh, CPU. Yes. And pretty much the standard this day in the data center and in telco is is the first thing that, that lights up is, is an FPGA. Absolutely, right. And uh, as you also uh, touched on, uh, the security is something that's proliferating so fast uh, across different uh, industries and communications infrastructure, wireless base stations, radio yeah. heads, we see a similar trend as well. And then moving to the edge, right, across industrial automotive. So this is something that uh, is going to be, it has always been and will continue to be one of the cornerstones of our FPGAs. Right. So hey, let's head over and meet up with Dan and we're going to be talking more security in our final demonstration. All right, well, those first two demos were great. We've headed over to the other side here. This event is big. It's, it takes up quite a bit of space. Deepak, let's tie this all together here. We talked a little bit about performance. We've talked a little bit about security, but let's, uh, let's tie everything together here in this third demo. Absolutely. Yeah. In fact, this demo does exactly that, right? It showcases how the unique combination of low power and fast boot up performance together can be used to even further reduce the power consumption, right? Which is again, really important for edge applications. So it's going to have the same board here as before, with the same FPGAs from Lattice, AMD, and Altera. And all of these are connected over these coax cables to that oscilloscope. And basically what the oscilloscope is showing is the monitoring rate, right? Uh, which is the number of times the FPGAs turn on and off per second. And that goes back to the boot up time, right? Uh, and we showed in the earlier demo, right? The significant difference in boot up time. So in some, just to give you an example of an application like even AI, right, Edge AI, which is a pretty common use case for uh, FPGAs, monitoring the sensor data, right, to detect yeah. humans or objects is something that's part of that uh, kind of a use case, right? And thing is, you don't need to be on all the time to detect the sensor data, right? Uh, so that's basically uh, a good application where in, in some cases like AI PCs, you don't need to be so fast or uh, in terms of uh, detecting the output. In some AI use cases like autonomous robots, you have to have a faster monitoring rate, right? Because they're more uh, safety critical applications. So that's what uh, we show in this demo is uh, how, do, how does the power consumption change as we 
uh, increase or decrease the monitoring rate of the FPGAs, right? So you gain performance, you, you, you improve the boot cycle time. And of course that also does have security implications, which you talked about in the second demo, which is, is really good. And, and from what I'm seeing here, uh, Nexus is showing leadership in terms of both these categories. Absolutely, right? And, and this uh, actually shows together how that multiplies even further. So you can see that at a monitoring rate of uh, 10 times per second, again, that means the FPGAs are turning on and off uh, 10 times. Uh, uh, the, you can see the power difference, right, uh, is up to 6x lower power for the Certus uh, N2 FPGAs. And as we continue to change the monitoring rate to 8 times per second, and six times per second, four times per second, you can see that difference in uh, power consumption further amplifies. And so does N2, right, on average has uh, up to 10 times lower power consumption than the other FPGAs. And given how much attention right now is being paid to power consumption in these new AI data centers, of course, is, is an area, for instance, or with new more power consuming AI PCs in these areas, um, a lot of attention, so this makes a difference. And of course, while we're showing something for one FPGA, you know, many data centers, these can be hundreds, thousands, hundreds of thousands and more. I think, what do you ship a quarter of a billion of these things? That's right, um, yeah. So it's, <laughs> yeah in, in a year. So what I'm saying is, as you're sort of thinking about how to reduce power, um, it really does add up. It's really meaningful. And this can be a solution as people are trying to Bring Absolutely. That into consideration. Absolutely, right? Especially again, as more and more intelligence moves to the edge, there's a lot more computing needed. And uh, this really helps in those types of uh, use cases, uh, including again, edge AI. And again, it's all about milliseconds and milliwatts, right? I think uh, that's the level uh, uh, at which the Lattice FPGAs operate. And that's again, uh, really important for AI and security applications. Well, Deepak, thanks so much for showing us this. Thanks for taking Patrick and myself through all of these demos. It's been great being here with you at the Lattice Developer Conference, Lattice Semiconductor Developer Conference 2024. Look forward to seeing you again next year. Always enjoy doing these demos with you. Yep, my pleasure. Thank you. And also please uh, check out, uh, we have the whole ecosystem of more than 80 plus partner demos in the technology showcase as well. And that, is a message for all of you to check all of this out. Check the links out in the show notes. We appreciate you being part of the community. Hit that subscribe button. Be part of the event from Patrick and I. Join us for all the conversations we had here. And of course, be part of all of the great coverage here on the 6.5. But for this one, I got to say goodbye to everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all later.